long since erased from the records of time. There once existed two European clans who served as overseers of history for the powers that be. The Umbral Witches, dwellers of the darkness, and the Lumen Sages, controllers of the light. The clans paid each other great respect, and their efforts to maintain the balance between them defended the just passage of time. Yet one day, that balance was toppled. The once harmonious clans fell into disagreement and stoked the flames of hatred against each other, resulting in an era of strife. The conflict between the Umbra and the Lumen threw all of Europe into a chaotic loop of battle, ambush, assassination, and casualty. It was truly a gruesome war. Despite the tremendous radiance of God shining upon them, the Lumen Sages were gradually weakened by the assault of the secretive Dark Witches. Years after the balance was lost, the war had ended in the Umbral Witches' favor. It looks like Humpty Dumpty's taking his last fall. 
Even old Eggman the Destroyer gets scrambled in the end, right? You know, I still don't get why the hell you drag me out here for these things. I just drop off the merchandise. Hey, bet you can't guess what today is. Reading the good Lord's book ain't gonna do much. People have been waiting for this asshole to get whacked for ages. Please. Hell, look around. There's no love lost for old Humpty Dumpty. But you gotta keep the outfit happy. We don't take care of him, they take care of us. And I prefer my shoes made out of rubber, not concrete. But hey, it's that kind of town. Without good-hearted souls like us to put these bastards six feet under, where'd society be? Of course, the pay's not bad either. <laughs> Jesus, you really get into this shit, don't you? If it were me, I'd be praying he ends up barbecue. Or at least sunny side up. <laughs> You can keep praying, but the only way this guy's meeting the Lord is if God's hungry for breakfast. <laughs> Speaking of hungry, we done here. My kids are baking me a birthday cake tonight. Cute little fuckers, I tell you what. Well then, adios. What the fuck? They're here? For this douchebag? Ah! I hate this damn light! I can't see a thing! Oh! But they're there, ain't they? You hearing me? You, you can see them, can't you? I see them. They are instruments of God, descending upon his heavenly rays to Earth. Oh my God! Dear Lord, grant us guidance, and keep safe the souls of our loved ones for all eternity. Do you not even 
little angels deserve a good spanking. Okay, after that ridiculously long intro, what's up, peoples? Um, this is Bayonetta. Work. I forgot how to play again. Uh, I remember that? That's for sure. <laughs> but yeah, this is a um, an action platformer. I guess would be a best way to not really a platform, it's just a straight up action game. It's sort of like a beat em up, but. It's best not to just butt mash it. I'll explain more. Right now, let's just kill some angels. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> That's what we're doing. <laughs> so, where do I start with this game? <laughs> Whoa. This game really does confuse me sometimes. And not just, I mean, I understand the gameplay, but the story is really confusing. And. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I, maybe I should have, I don't know what to say before recording this, but. But it's a really fun game. If you haven't tried it yet, you can find it in stores or whatever. It's really cheap. Like, the most. Cost nowadays is like ten dollars. Not even that. But yeah, this game was um. Hold up. Okay, that's actually new. <laughs> I've never done that before. But I was about to say. Oh yeah, this game was made for both Xbox 360 as well as PlayStation 3. It came out on the. Ah, sure. I Oh, I was gonna say, 
Oh yeah, the game was made for the PlayStation 3 as well as um, Xbox 360. It actually came out for Xbox 360 first and then was later ported to PlayStation 3. And it was developed by Platinum Games or Team Angels for the 360. And when it was ported, it was developed by Next Entertainment for PlayStation 3. So, I don't know why they don't actually point that out in, in the um, Oh, you can aim too, I didn't know that. I don't know why they don't point that out in the intro, but... Yeah. I guess, technically, Platinum Games still has something to do with it, but it was mainly developed by, um... Hold on, Gussie. Okay, now I gotta save Enzo. Pretty stupid character, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, he has some information that Bayonetta would like to know, but other than that, he's pointless. Ah! Damn it, who did that? I just bought the damn thing! Haven't you figured it out yet? There's no quarter for you in this world. Okay, so yeah, we landed on this car. They just bought the family. But who cares? So yeah, now we gotta... Whoa! But you can initiate um, these torture attacks, you know, the ones I've been showing off by accident. You basically have to get your enemy dizzy first before being able to pull it off. And they, they usually finish the pulling it off. If not, at least damage from mine. I just got hit. There we go. Oh boy! There's the angel that has Enzo. Wow. <laughs> that was good. And you get ranked every time for a verse like that, but I'll explain it later. Oh, Rodan should be paying me for even touching these toys. You have any idea how much this is gonna cost to fix? How the fuck do I always get wrapped up in this shit? Engine still purrs nicely. Now, about this little thing you've been looking into for me, Enzo. Let's have a quick chat. See? This is why I told you I was going home. I just got held up in the air by some invisible things, and you want an intelligence briefing? It never stops with you! You keep belly aching like that, and you're liable to wake Eggman from the dead. And I don't think either of you would like that. Ah! Catch you later, Bayonetta. Something tells me you're gonna need a rush on our special project before this shit hits the fan. Wait, Rodan. What about Eggman? Such a popular chap. I bet they hate him down there as much as you did when he was up here. We just need to make sure he won't come crawling back when they kick him out. Nothing a flower bed can't fix. Fill her up. You heard the man. Finish up in five minutes or you're walking home to your cake and candles. What? Don't you leave me here! Okay, so that's a nice little reference to the Sonic Universe by mentioning Eggman. Apparently he's dead now. But, um, <laughs> weird. But another cutscene's about to start, so I'm gonna just shut up now. I'll talk later. Still loading. Oh, there it goes. Oh, what a day! I'm screwed! Ah! Oh, it's gonna 
take every cent I earned on this charade to pay for the damage. I tell you what, if I can see them bastards that did this to my car, forget about it. Enzo, the road. Pay attention. To me. How can you be so calm? You're still getting screwed in all this too. Of all the low-life scum in too deep in this town, I've never seen one get wrapped up in a fight with God's messengers. Dressed like a nun, too. When you end up in the afterlife, that's not going to be pretty. I can't help it if I like the little outfits. The toys are nice, <laughs> too. <laughs> Twenty years ago, you woke up stuck in a casket at the bottom of a lake. All you can remember is that you were a witch. But now, you're stuck because you're gonna sacrifice our halo-wearing friends every day or they'll drag your ass back down to hell. I know I thought I got screwed, but being forced to slap around the divine for a living? That's really getting screwed. If I needed a biographer, you wouldn't be my first choice. I see to the funeral. You get me the information I asked for. That was our deal. <laughs> Come on now! Look at my poor car! I'm working for free after this! At least let me get a drink at Rodan before you start drilling me. The info I got is good. It's gonna get you close to finding the other stone in the pair and figuring out some of that lost past of you. Where? <laughs> After jewels instead of cash, just like a girl. <laughs> Jesus, can't you take a joke? Enzo, someone's given you a present. Too bad, I can't stand bugs. John. What are you doing here? But yeah, this is basically a tutorial, I suppose. Maybe a good way to put it. On basically how to pull off torture attacks. And your goal is to pull off three. Not, not too hard. It's just that you know, sometimes because the way it you know, gets rid of your enemies before you get a chance to pull it off. That's really the only part. Okay, as you can see, everything is slowed down. This is witch time. And, um, yeah, that's what witch time basically is. It slows time down. You can use that to your advantage in fights, too. I think I showed that off where you just basically slow down time around you for a brief period and just take out enemies. 
and I have two now. There you go. Okay, which time is no longer activated. Shaboozy. Yeah, that's all you gotta do. And another cussy place. Ooh, got gold. Those assholes sure know how to get attention. Even perk the ears of the hotheads down home. You don't say. It's getting harder and harder to tell the worlds apart. Human world. Inferno. Paradiso. Who can tell the difference? Even harder with Purgatorio in the middle. Fight long enough in there and you'll really lose sight. Why the sudden interest in metaphysics? It's a balance, right? Even if some of them like messing around with the humans, we've all got a stake in the status quo. But people keep fucking around like this, the Book of Revelations is gonna look like Mother Goose. Heaven and Hell are gonna go straight for each other's throats. Heaven and hell can tear each other to pieces for all I care. I've got my own problems to worry about. Something's up. Everything was a bit too brazen. And Enzo's tip makes the timing too perfect. This reeks of a setup. Someone in one of those lost memories calling you out. I got a little present for you. These babies are special. Built from an alloy the devil himself would kill to get his hands on. Don't break these, because they're one of a kind. I don't go in for strange offers. Then again, I'm getting a little tired of these weaklings they keep throwing at me. Maybe I should aim for something a bit more... high class.
Not to butt into your affairs, but I'm pretty sure you got somewhere better to be. The guys you're up against aren't the type to wait for you to finish around. Enzo, her drinks are going on your tab, buddy. <sighs> you did beat motherfucker. Okay, so all that was a chapter. <laughs> well, actually, the intro, the very beginning of this was ooh, gold. It was actually um separate, but I decided to just put it all in one. So yeah, you get rewarded based on your performance throughout the E level, and it accounts for everything from your time, your combo, how much damage you take, how many times you die, how many items you use. If you use no items, that's like that's really good. And oh, I did. Hopefully it saves, cause this game has a problem with saving after I beat the game. And after every chapter, you get to play a mini game called Angel Attack. And basically just shoot angels. Yeah. <laughs> and um you get a certain amount of points depending on what angels you shoot. Like that one right there is, that's the highest ten. You get a headshot that's like five but almost if you do it because I haven't played some men. Y'all still 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 there we go. Okay, so another one. But yeah, how many bullets you get for the angel attack depends on your performance in the game as well as how many bullets you find in the level itself. And you can exchange it for items like green herb lollipop, purple magic lollipop, yada yada yada. Or, wait, what's this? Charge 2 seconds. Gauge, I don't need that. Increases 1 vitality. Uh, I actually don't really need this stuff because all of this stuff I can actually make which I'll talk about in another part so if you don't want to buy anything you can just exchange your halos which is basically the money in this game for um no excuse me I worded that wrong you can exchange your points for halos which is the money of this game so that's what I'm gonna do so let's exchange and yeah whoa my microphone whoops Okay, so that was a long chapter. This will probably be a long video. Actually, most of them will be long because these, just like Sin and Punishment, these chapters can go on for quite a bit of time, but it's still a fun game. So in the next part, we'll get to the Angels Metropolis. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next part. Peace.